Hello BookTube, I'm Peg and welcome to my channel. Well, I'm finally reached my destination in uh, South Carolina. Uh, for the, That'll be my <clears throat> home for the next uh, several months. It, it's a little warmer down here, though, though not hot, and at least there's no snow on the ground. So I'm happy to be able to take my walks every day. Okay, I'm here today to talk about a book that I read all the way down through the 500 miles that we traveled. I wasn't driving, of course. Um, incidentally, my cat made the trip very well. We found out that if we put, let the cat out of the cage and let it wander around the car, it's much happier than being in the cage. Of course, we have to be careful it doesn't hop out when we hop out, but it worked much better and, and cat was quite happy. Okay, so I wanna talk about this book that ju has just come out in both the US and the UK, and it's a, um, a translation of a French, um, one of the, mo the most important and prestigious French prize, the Goncourt Prize. I'll put it down uh, below, a link to it. Um, it's the, the French have quite a few prizes, but this one um, is, is the most, you might, you might say, popular and the one that's most liable to get translated into English. So um, this one, it would, this is the UK edition of it that came out, I believe, just yesterday in the UK. Um, and uh, it's, it's called Lullaby in the UK. Now here is the, I don't know if this is the original French or version or just an arc, but I, I, it was all I could find. And certainly the cover is less distinctive and it makes it look like a little more literary book than the other does. Now it's taken to disappearing. Okay. Um, anyway, I have lots of books on here to show in my next video, but I'm not ready to show them now. Okay. I had first heard about this book, um, on, um, a uh, good to good read uh, forum I read uh, that talks about the uh, the upcoming Man Booker International, which is for literary translated books, the best translated books, and people are now already putting up what they think might be in, and this was widely touted uh, as being one of the um, <clears throat> possible contenders for that, and. Um, I, I knew already that it's a story based on a true story of a nanny in, in New York, actually, who ends up killing her the two children she's taken care of and the story thereof. Um, and so I was, wasn't too surprised when I saw the UK cover. Now, it... Um, it's called Lullaby, which is a pretty straight translation from the from the French title, um, and has the 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 nanny in it does wear a lot of this strange blue with this little tiny collar that looks like only an Alice in Wonderland would wear. Um, that, but as I said, it's a it's a quite heavy, serious story about this this nanny and and her life with these people that it does take place in Paris um, up until she completely goes off the rails at the end and kills the children. Now I'm not, that's not a spoiler because the book opens up with the words, the children were dead. And um, so that's not a spoiler at all. In fact, that's my main gripe with the way it's been marketed in, in the UK somewhat, but especially what do you see the U S cover um, as a, like some kind of cheap thriller or, or mystery, which it is not at all. It's a very serious story and um, with unlikable characters, all of them are, including the parents. And um, it, it, it looks deeply into, into themes such as immigration and racial themes and very, very serious things. And actually, I think it's a picture of a woman uh, losing her mind through it. I mean, it, it, it's not at all a mystery or a thriller. It's a very serious book. Some may like it, some not. I think it was very well written. And the way it started with just little, little kind of creepy things and progressed to, to the point where the nanny uh, kills the children. 
Okay, so I want to show you the difference between the UK cover and the US cover. They, it came out both places just this week. Uh, this is the UK cover with the title Lullaby, and uh, it does have, the cover says, the baby is dead, it took only a few seconds. But up at the top, it does give credit to it being a, ah, that doesn't work very well, does it? Uh, a French uh, translation, it calls it the international bestseller and winner of the Prix Concours. So it does give credit to it being uh, French. And it also has at the bottom, translated by Sam Taylor. He's very, uh, I see a lot of French good novels that are translated are often translated by him. So he's very, very adept translator. Um, and, and one of the best from French to English, I think. Okay, now, so this one's, Okay, it, it, it possibly makes it look like a little lighter subject than it is, but wait till you see, here's what the U.S. cover looks like. I, at first, didn't realize it was the same book, except luckily it had the same picture. We're calling it The Perfect Nanny, and you can't tell by the coloring here, but it's really in, it's the same picture, but it's in much brighter colors, this Robin Eggs Blue, and it has, doesn't even mention anywhere on the cover about it being a translation or a prize winner in France. Uh, it just has the, the title and uh, it just has international bestseller. I couldn't find anywhere in it where it talked about the translation, that it's a translation. Now I did have an e-copy, so maybe in the actual book it does, but I, I think it's kind of a travesty the way it makes it look like a cheap thriller of some sort, or not not cheap, but common type thriller. And uh, it, it at the top, the the blurb is by a uh, uh, English writer, the writer of The Girl in the Red Coat, that says it's insanely good. I mean, it just seems to me like when people in the U.S. see this book, if they don't know anything about it, they're going to be sorely disappointed because it, it just really advertises itself as a thriller, uh, which it's, it, it's much heavier written than that. It's If you're looking for thrills, you're not going to get them. Uh, anyway, I just thought I'd, I'd uh, talk about this. It kind of bothers me in, in a way that we can't, uh, they don't assume Americans are going to appreciate a translation from French or a French novel, uh, and, and they market it differently. Um, even different than, than in the UK. So anyway, it's still worth a read, but don't expect to be thrilled. Uh, anyway, so I'd like to know what some of the other people think about it. Okay, that's it for today. I'll be back. Bye.